What's going on guys, Fuller here with Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. You guys left a bunch of comments on our top five wheels under $1,000. So we figured we'd bring you the top five tires on a budget. So for this video, we're gonna base all the prices off a complete set of four tires with free shipping to lower 48 states, as well as free mounting and balancing if you get a complete uh, package. And then for sizes, we're comparing 33 by 12 and a for 20 inch wheels. Mud tires and hybrids are both extremely popular in the truck market. So you'll find both of these on this list. So we determine what makes the list of the top five based on popularity, data off our website, and personal experiences from people around the shop who have run them. And the best news is all these tires are under a thousand bucks. Let's get into it. Starting at number five on the list is the Aturo Trailblade XT. So the XT is a hybrid tire and the most popular 33 by 12 and a half. So people tend to gravitate more towards the XT rather than the MT or mud tire from Aturo simply because you can get better mileage out of these. So the XT is the second highest priced tire on a so the XT is actually the second highest priced tire on our list, but it still falls plenty short of that $1,000 ceiling. The biggest downfall to the XT is that it doesn't run true to size, which isn't super uncommon in the tire world, but on these Aturos, it's really noticeable. So this means if you're taking the 12.5 and planning to stretch it on a 14 wide wheel, you're going to really notice that stretch because even on a 12 wide wheel and you're running the 12 and a half inch tire, you still, you don't quite have that straight up and down sidewall. Cause like I said, they do run a little bit narrow. It does one of these stretchy. Number four on the list is the Federal Caraja MT. And I've actually personally ran a set of these and they did exactly what I needed them to do. The Federal Caraja MT is known for its very aggressive tread pattern and they're also known for being, well, cheap, but cheap in a good way, I guess. Sure, they're loud and they can wear fast if you don't properly rotate them, but for the price you pay for these tires, in some cases you can actually buy two sets of Federals uh, rather than one set of like Nittos or Toyos. So according to Federal, the uniquely designed incremental block edge quickly sheds dirt, sand, and gravel for impressive off-road traction. That's up to you to decide if you believe it. Federal has been a huge name in the motorsports racing community for years, and they were actually founded in 1954, but didn't start developing the Karaja line until 2003. Either way, this is a really mean, aggressive looking tire for the price point. Pow! Sports. Number three on our list is actually a football. No, we're actually doing the work. So coming in at number three is the Road One Calvary, which is basically the same price as the Federal, but chances are you've probably never heard of it. And I was sort of in the same boat. So I asked around the shop to see if anybody had ran these tires and the answer was no. So I took it in my own hands and went where everybody should go if they want to look something up, Google. Even there it was proving difficult to find reviews on this tire. Yet somehow, according to the data on our website, plenty of people are selecting this tire when building their wheel and tire package. I was able to find one article that did shed some light on the Road One brand. The Italian firm Pirelli recently announced a $90 million joint venture with the Chinese tire company. The Pirelli Road One factory actually uses Pirelli equipment and technology to build these tires. But because the truck tires are produced in China, they're able to keep the cost down. Pirelli says, this is not an existing shoddily made Chinese factory that we have bought into. This is a custom made brand new factory with the most advanced production technologies. So if any of you have Road One tires, let us know in the comments below, because there's not a ton of info of these guys online. Coming in at number two, it's actually the cheapest tire on our list of the top five tires, the Free Passer X-Cross MT. If you're a subscriber from our early days or you just binge watch 900 videos on the Custom Offsets TV YouTube channel, you probably remember the CO Avi, our 2004 Chevy Avalanche. Over the years, it's had more wheel and tire setups than I care to count, but the most recent was a set of Scorpions wrapped in these Free Passer MTs. They are an aggressive looking mud tire with a 15 millimeter tread depth that actually extends over the side of the tread and onto the sidewall for extra protection while off-roading. So with these tires, you can actually save a pretty decent amount of money on your wheel and tire package if you're willing to take the risk and take on some added road noise as well as the potential for balancing or vibration issues, but some of that just comes with buying cheap tires. The moral of the story with cheap tires is you get what you pay for. If you're willing to take the risk, then you can definitely save a lot of money. The number one tire on our list, drum roll please, the Eternal Trailblade MT. 
Now, I know you're gonna be mad at me because this is actually the most expensive tire on the list, but like I mentioned before, you get what you pay for. So if you head out to customoffsets.com and you browse our gallery, you'll find over 3,000 people that are running Aturos, and that should count for something. Plenty of people here at the shop have ran Aturos, and you can get away without issues as long as you make sure you're rotating properly. One of the guys here, Justin, ran a set on his Ford F-150, and he was pulling his camper halfway across the country. After about 35,000 miles, he said he still had like 40% tread remaining, which is excellent out of a mud tire. Whereas most brands have a car lineup and then they also have a little bit in the truck market, Aturo actually focuses its main production line on the truck and SUV market. So according to Aturo, they use a specially crafted aluminum segmented mold to build the Trailblade MT. This type of construction creates a higher degree of uniformity throughout the tire, but like anything, there's a downside as well. Like I mentioned before, it's no secret in the truck community that the Aturos tend to run a little narrower, so you have to keep that in mind when ordering these. So if there's another video you guys want to see, uh, any five things videos, drop them in the comments below. Let us know what you want to see. Hope you enjoyed this one, uh, kind of throwing out some budget tires. If you're looking to save a little bit of money, but still want to build your truck, definitely check out customoffsets.com. We can usually hook you up with the best package prices and give you uh, some deals as long as you're bundling those together. We also sell lift kits, spacers, lighting, everything you need to build your truck all on customoffsets.com. Peace. Oh my God. I broke the microphone. And Sean, if you're wondering why the microphones are broken, here's a video example as to why. Oops.